Welcome to another episode of Hold Your Craft. And you know, I got to talk about something here. There have been some things that I'm just realizing is like kind of a fact that was hard to believe. But as a working person who earns a decent income, I am more poor now, especially through all the taxation, than somebody who is homeless and is not a citizen of the United States. They give more financial support to people who are illegal aliens. Yeah, you want to call them unhomed people or whatever label you want to give them. They're illegal migrants to the United States are getting more benefits than I am capable of earning. They get like seven times the amount of groceries. You ever been to the grocery store and seen people getting food stamps, loading up those damn carts? And we go up, we get this tiny little basket, costs us over $100 because we work for a living and we earn it. And they take all our money away. This is like the Biden-Harris economy. Give money to people who have no contribution to the society and push down and crush the people who work and make an effort to be successful in life and take away everything they have. And I'm not talking about rich people. I'm not a rich guy, man. I'm a working man. And they are crushing me. I'm getting like 10% of my wages, maybe, you know, 20%, but something like that. So I can't get crap earning my money because they're giving it all away to people who have done nothing to earn it, who don't deserve it, who are committing crimes. And yes, we actually know that they're eating cats and dogs and geese and ducks and probably neighborhood children, right? We, we've probably seen a couple of those on a spit post. They chop off the kid's head and roast them on an open fire because that's what people are doing now. And nobody cares. And the, and the mainstream media don't talk about it. They're murdering, they're raping, they're robbing, and they're getting paid to do it. Just so they can vote for the vile party, which you know who that is, while we're trying to protect people who earn a living and try to help people and try to be supportive. But you're taking away our ability to even survive as a person who works and earns. You're going to destroy the nation with this. What are we going to do? I mean, we got an election coming up. I pray to God we get the right people in so we can get rid of this corruption and this wickedness. Because if we don't, the people of the United States of America are sick and tired of having their constitutional rights trampled, ignored, abused, and wiping their butt with the Constitution as far as that Democratic Party goes, leftist people. They want us to be like North Korea. Okay? And we're not going to take it. We're not going to take it anymore. Okay? Throw in that Twisted Sister song. I, I can't play it because, you know, then they'd ask money and I can't afford that because the taxes would take so much of my income like uh, mm, so much okay so here you go we got to make a decision do you want to try to stop the corruption and evil and vileness or do you want to go to civil war those are the only options we have people because we will not be able to survive this way much longer under that vile, wicked, twisted administration we currently have. I don't want that. I want a peaceful way to do things. I want to have the right people in there who support us and support our ideals of actual equality and facing our life challenges and being paid for our work without having to pay other people who don't work. God bless America, and God bless you.